Five second board. Down goes the gate. Bax has jubilee has got a good one, but not good enough. Not good enough. Brett Wilkins got a flash. Stuart Brown. Stuart Brown it is with the whole shot. Coppolati is with him. Bax got himself really, really bogged in, but he's in third. Etienne Bax, Casper Stubilis in third. Brilliant start by Stuart Brown. Brett Wilkinson, an absolute flyer as well. Brett Wilkinson, number eight. He and Ryan Humphrey boxing in at back. Ryan Humphrey throwing himself out of the sidecar there, trying to block the way for the red plate holder. Now Wilkinson fighting back. Well, told you the accident beyond. So yeah, so Stuart Brown and Josh Evans out in front at the moment. Etienne Bax is back behind Brett Wilkinson and Josh Humphrey as they go into the left-hander. Uh, just before the jump, it was Etienne Bax who barged Brett Wilkinson out of the way. Looks like he's going to try and get the drive, and he's been bogged down. So in second place, it was the number eight British pairing of Brett Wilkinson and uh, Ryan Humphrey. Julian Feldman right round the outside. Really, really good move there. Not quite pulled it off or made it stick on Coppolotti, but now he's on the inside. Feldman is through. Julian Feldman and Robbie Hole. What a fantastic one. I'm talking about Robbie Bax. Julian Feldman and Glenn Janssens. But what a start by Santamans as well. Brett Wilkinson, though, you wouldn't think he's been knocked about the way he has. Bax coming back on him again, going into that deep stuff. Brett Wilkinson not going to give up. He's not going to give up, no. He's got a face full of dirt from the from Etienne Bax. He's just making his way up into second place. Just got a note over our shoulder from Steve Randall. Cohn Hermans is out of it already. So the number two Hermans is out either in a mechanical retirement or crash. Well, that's disaster for him. Well, this is a 20 minute plus two laps race. Etienne Bax is on him now. Bax and Superlis right on the back of Brown and Chamberlain looking every which way. They've had enough of being filled in. The championship leader is fighting every inch of the way here. Well, Bradley, it's all yours. Go for it. Etienne Bax is going to go try and make a move around the outside of Stuart Brown and Josh Chamberlain. Then we've got a change for the lead. That is Etienne Bax and Casper Stupolis now in front of Stuart Brown and Josh Chamberlain. Josh Chamberlain and Stuart Brown only got a bit. Let him have it that easy, however. He tried to cut the corner a bit tighter and try and get the drive, but it's not worked. So Etienne Bax on the 82 red-plated bike. Now in front of Stuart Brown and Josh Chamberlain. But we are following a comprehensive victor round here. Job done. Etienne Bax and Kasper Stupolis. Kasper's yeah. looking at his watch. How <laughs> cool is that? That's he fast. was looking at his watch. There's Stuart, Stuart Brown, Brown and Josh Chamberlain confirmed in second place there. 13.4 seconds behind yep. the 82 outfit. Yep. Runner-up spot then for Stuart Brown and Josh Chamberlain. A good job done by Etienne Bax and Kasper Stupolis. That's where their father, where his father Stuart started. Down goes the gate. Steve Randall clicks his stop. Watch Jake Brown has got an absolute flyer. No, he hasn't. His scooters. Gert van Verven. Van Verven, Kenny Van Garden lead. Arna Jerkins it is who leads into the first schmozzle. Van Luken are way down in the traffic. He's in about sixth or seventh place. Marvin Van Luken and Ben Van Luken didn't make the best of that. Oh, there's Dan Foden upside down. And the number 159 crew. Look at this. Look at Christopher and Maxime Kouchier. They're riding like men possessed. Gert Van Verven, this is a replay of the group qualifying in A when they were a bit tight, but then Etienne back streaked away. Once he and Stuart Brown opened the gap, they were 20 odd seconds up the road at half race distance. Here we've got Christoph and Maxime Kouch. It could be, you know, that Robbie Bax's injury is hampering him. He might even have given Arnie a little tap. Yeah, as I say, I spoke with him earlier and he's trying to do everything with his legs. Now, for a passenger to do everything with your legs, it's very, very difficult. As Cooch goes through then at the top of the screen there. Cooch is in, are in front. They went through on the inside of Arna Dierkins. That tells me that all is not well with the number 10 crew. Jake Brown up to third, having muscled his way past Gert Van Verven. So Jake Brown and Joe Millard now kicking up the dust in the face of the big, jovial Dutchman, the big bearded fellow 
whose family run a logistics business. What a move by Jake Brown on Arna Jergens to claim that place. Through went Jake Brown. No questions asked. No, nothing given. No, there's a bit of a something a problem here. What's going on? Van Lukener has rocketed through and is now up to third. Kurt Van Verven stalled it on the inside of the turn and caused mayhem. Van Lukener again looking on the inside. Is it going to be over these jumps? It's on the downhill. Nice. Both left-handed chairs, first and second. And that means that the man who's got the opportunity has gone through. Van Lukener through, but Jake Brown cutting back on the inside and claims the place back. I'm running out of breath. Take over, for goodness oh, sake. Oh, my word. And Van Lukener again then just managed to hug the inside, put Jake out wide, and again, Jake just had to back out of that, but he's not going to let Van Lukenen go. So can Jake Brown then just attack Van Lukenen back? After a three-lap battle, and Van Lukenen is so impressive in the air. Looking at the outside of the Kouches, but still it's battle on here. And what a passing move that was. What a passing move that was. I have to applaud here. That was absolutely magnificent. Still Arnold Jerkins and Robbie Bax on the back of Kurt Barrick and Loris Diders further down the order. All of these crews, though, will line up, and now Jerkins goes through. Jerkins has gone through on Barrick. There you go. That's the move. Jake Brown then through on the inside of Christoph Kusch. He's a very clever tactician, Jake, for a youngster. This is his only second full season, or first full season in Grand Prix this year. And he is certainly a chip off the old block. Oh, Varick out of it. Another retirement for Kurt Varick. Bradley Hicks, our new young boys we're welcoming to the WSC commentary box. and. And you two guys will be looking after the grand finale of this competition when we are live at Rudersburg in Germany in a matter of two weeks' time? Two weeks' time. Two weeks' time.